Apple's got the new iPad 3. It's not called that. Uh, okay, the, the third generation iPad, that. The, okay, the new, the new iPad. <laughs> That's today on Lab Rats. This episode of Lab Rats is brought to you by Netflix. Hello and welcome to another edition of Lab Rats. My name is Andy Walker. I'm Sean Carruthers. And I'm very excited. We're here again, of course, on uh, Revision 3. Uh, they actually let us stay after the first episode. Figure that one out. That's crazy. <laughs> All right, well, today on the show, we're going to look at the, and I hesitate to say this, you know, in the cold open, of course, the iPad 3 slash new iPad slash, what is it exactly? Okay, What's the so. Everyone was calling it the iPad 3 before it got released, but it's because really it's the, the third iPad 3rd generation. It's, they're, they're putting in the marketing materials as the new iPad, but really it's just called iPad. So what happens when the 4th fourth, fourth generation comes out? It'll be called the iPad. 4th <laughs> gen. Thank God. Right. Yeah, so it's, it's kind of, they, they started a bad precedent when they did the iPad 2, yeah. and then sort of moved to the 3rd generation iPad and removed that again, so it looks like they're rolling back in time. Right. But this is more like uh, the way they're doing it with the iPods. They don't have the iPod Classic 2. It's just the iPod Classic, and then they release another version. Okay, so that's what they're doing here. Okay, got it. So we'll just refer to it as the new iPad. Yes. Okay, got it. All right, awesome. So today we're gonna, on the show, we're going to show you the key, key new features, uh, why it's cool, and whether you should buy it or not. Yes, yes. Yeah? Okay, good. All right, well, let's take a break, and uh, when we come back, we've got that, all that and more today on Lab Rats. This episode is brought to you by Netflix. Netflix streams TV shows and movies directly to your home, saving you time, money, and hassle. As a Netflix Unlimited member, you can instantly watch TV episodes and movies streaming directly to your PC, Mac, or right to your TV with your Xbox 360, PS3, or Nintendo Wii console. Watch as many movies as you want, anytime you want, and cancel anytime. For a limited time, get a free 30-day trial membership. Go to www.netflix.com slash labrats and sign up now. That's netflix.com slash labrats. Make sure that you go there and let them know that we sent you. I'm going there right now. Me too. I kind of like this new uh, Revision 3 ad format. It's kind of fun. I do too. Right. It's great. Okay. Well, now that we've paid the bills, let's talk about the iPad 3, third generation iPad, new iPad. Yes, here we go. You have to, you have to call all three thing. names. Uh, I'll, uh, no, that'll take too much time. <laughs> We're on a time budget, sir. Okay, All right, so if you turn it around, you'll notice that it says iPad right on the back. Yes. Not iPad 3, not third generation bloody iPad. Not a pen. It just, no. <laughs> so you'll notice looking at it, it looks pretty similar in a lot of ways to the iPad 2. Yes. There's, there's not much difference to it. You will notice from the side, it does look a little bit thicker and it is a little bit heavier than the iPad 2. Did it say too. iPad 2 on the back of the last iPad 2? It actually didn't say that. It just okay. said that in their advertising. Okay, exactly. so, so you, yeah, you could mistake this definitely. So in a lot of ways, it looks exactly the same until you look at the screen. Mm -hmm. So it's got something called a retina display on this, which you'll probably remember from the iPhone. Yes, yes, that's right. Nice and crisp and gorgeous. And if you're from a foreign country, you'll call it retina. Retina, or if you're our producer, Mike. Mike, yeah, we'll call it retina. Anyway, yeah. he's waving at us. Yeah. Okay, good. Okay, yeah, so retina display. This is sort of a high-resolution um, uh, display. Oh, is it? I'm going to look at my cheat sheet. 2048 pixels by 1, 1536. Yeah, 2048 by 1536. What does that mean, though? What that means is it's bigger than HD on this Ooh. right now. So it's, it's still actually in a 4 by 3 sort of orientation, yeah. not widescreen like your uh, screen on, uh, on your TV. Yeah. But it does actually have a million more pixels than the screen on your HD TV does. A million more. That's a cool. million more. Wow. So it's, it's a pretty good looking screen. Now, if you're looking at it really quickly, it's probably not gonna blow you away uh -huh. looking at it, but once you really get in close and realize I'm still not seeing the dots, then, then that's where you're gonna see it. The, the, the text looks really, really crisp. The icons look beautiful, it scales nicely, mm -hmm. and uh, it just looks gorgeous. It's pretty. Yeah, okay, good. Uh, new processor inside? Yeah, that you, a lot of the stuff you're going to see is sort of hidden in the back, the, okay. the new upgrades to this. So yeah. this uses the A5X processor, which is an update of their processor. Some people were thinking it was going to be the A6, but it is the A5X. Uh -huh. What that is is a dual but core. only referred to as the processor. Only, yeah, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> A5X3. <laughs> so. What it is, is it's a dual core processor, yeah. which is kind of interesting because a lot of the Android tablets that are coming out these days are going to a quad core processor. What this has is dual core processor and quad core graphics to drive that crisper, bigger display. Of course, more pixels means more juice inside. Yeah, so this can handle uh, gaming a lot nicer because of that quad core graphics that's inside. 
And is that, is that, is that the case? Is the gaming like rip on this thing? Yeah, it's, it's a really nice experience on this. Wow, awesome. Okay, cool. Yeah. All right, voice dictation is a big deal on this. Now, I had the, uh, the, uh, the 4S, the iPhone 4S, and I can voice dictate my text messages now. Mm -hmm. So I'm gathering that that's the same technology and probably perfected on this, is it? Right, so a lot of people were thinking there was going to be Siri in this. And there's not quite Siri. You can't press the button and say, Siri, fetch me a latte. But what you can do is you can oh, I'm not buying it then. Uh, well, what you can do is you can actually get your uh, text in here really, really quickly in much the same way. Yeah. So you'll notice when you uh, get into something where you can start typing, uh, if you have a Wi-Fi connection or a 3G connection or 4G connection, we'll get to that in a bit, um, that you actually have a microphone beside the space bar now. Mm -hmm. And what that means is you can actually start dictating. So if you press there, press the microphone and we're going to dictate. Yeah. Hi Andy, I'm here on the set of Lab Rats, period. We are shooting an episode on the iPad 3, period. Do you want to get one, question mark? And then you'll see right here that Ooh. there you go. It transcribed that pretty dead on. Pretty amazing. Yeah, so th there's a few things obviously that it's not going to get. If you have a thick accent, it won't necessarily get it. So if you're a Scottish guy, um, if you talk it, with an English accent, what talk happens then? Does it, I guess you can change well, the language pack. It's you? localized for a few places yeah. around the, the world, and it's uh, launching a few places around the world. So they'll have done a bit of This engine doesn't like me, though. Because, like, you know, I was born in England, I grew up in Montreal, I live in Toronto, you know, have a weird thing. The Americans think I'm, like, from Australia slash South Africa slash wherever. So this thing doesn't understand me half the time. You talk funny. I do talk funny. Yeah. <laughs> so it, it, it will probably uh, do that a few times. How does it do with the capital of Saskatchewan? Uh, no comment. Well, let's try. Regina. Hey! hey. You got it. So there you go. You just have to enunciate. You don't want anything showing up on here that's dirty because that's you not. did not enunciate. It's a body part. <sighs> All right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> let's talk about cameras. All right. More so, cameras? Uh, same amount of cameras. Two. Two cameras. Right. So one on the back. Yes. And one on the front. Okay. So the one on the back has gotten a bit of an upgrade since last time. Yeah. It is a five megapixel camera. It's got a backlit sensor. Just does gorgeous pictures now. Shoots 1080p video oh. as well. So that's the super high end of high def. Right. And the pictures that are coming out of this are really, really good quality as right. well. Um, sensor on the front, the, the camera on the front, not so good. It's the same old one that you used to have. So. If you are going to be using this for FaceTime uh -huh. um, or you know talking back and forth with people using the camera, it's not any better than it used to be. It's pretty crappy resolution, and yeah, you probably won't you you won't want to use it any more than you did before. The back camera, though, great. So if you uh, tag team this up with iPhoto or with the iMovie applications, then it's going to look great. Okay, cool. All right, uh, and uh, connectivity. Connectivity, it's got the same old connectivity before with a new upgrade. So it's got Wi-Fi, yeah. so you've got a number that are Wi-Fi only. 802.11n, super yeah. fast Wi-Fi. Yeah, the, yeah, the okay. fastest of the Wi-Fi. Yeah. Plus it's got cellular connections on some of them as well. If you pay the extra premium, I think it's about $120 extra that you add to it to get that in there. Yeah. In this case now, it is 4G LTE. It's a mouthful. And, yeah, it is. What that fourth generation. Fourth generation LTE is long-term evolution. Yes. And what that really means is fast, fast, fast. Yeah. So with 3G you used to top out at just over 20 megabits a second. This one tops out at 42. Now, are you going to get that? Uh -huh. Possibly not. It uh, depends on what the coverage area is like and how right. much. I mean, in, in the big cities, you're going to have uh, L, you're going to have 4G available. You yeah. know, in the big U.S. cities, big Canadian cities around the world, and that sort of thing, right? Uh, you know, in the boonies, it'll take about a year or so. Yeah. And, and of course, in the little tiny towns, maybe it won't be a while. But the reality is, is 3G technology is pretty much ubiquitous now in North America for the most part. And uh, it, it, I mean, this is going to give you faster, gonna, the same throughput. But uh, the latency, so the wait time to get a packet back is actually cut in half. That's yeah. why 4G is faster. Yeah, and the, the thing to remember is that you're probably not going to get 42. That's idealized in an ideal world, and you're almost never living in an so ideal world. when If you're you and your mom work. and your dog are living in a lab, you're going to get 42 megabits per second down. Yes. <laughs> or something. Okay. All right. All right. So uh, worthwhile? Like, should we buy this? Should I run out tomorrow and actually cash in all of my 
extra quarter, like get my quarters and yeah. Well, okay. Here's the the good news is that if you hadn't bought the iPad two and you were thinking about it, this one's the same price as that one used to be. Okay. So you'll start at four ninety nine in the U S, uh, five twenty nine in Canada, and it'll go up in increments depending on which model you get. That'll get you the bare bones Wi Fi sixteen mm -hmm. gigabyte model, mm -hmm. and uh, just add from there. You can see the chart here. Mm -hmm. um, the screen is really really nice. If there are things that you uh, were doing beforehand with the iPad 2 that, uh, that you were thinking, it's great, but I really need a better screen, then it's probably worth the upgrade. Mm -hmm. If you had the iPad 1, it's probably worth the upgrade. <laughs> okay, got it. And My if dad you, wants and, one of these. And if your co-host dropped yours and you need to buy a new one, it's probably worth the upgrade. Okay. If, if you're not really sold on a lot of these new features and you got the iPad 2 already, it may not be worth the upgrade yet. Yeah. Yeah. I'd go and buy the iPad 2 instead then. Yeah, but then you don't get a great camera and you don't get voice dictation. Sucker. Okay, I got it. All right. All right. Anyway, my dad wants one. So Father's Day's coming up. Yeah, there like you June go. June-ish, June, well, June 15th or something like that. He's desperate for one. If you know my dad, don't tell him I'm going to buy him one, okay? And dad, if you're watching this episode, oh, it's too late. All right. Okay, good. So uh, that's the iPad 3 slash third generation slash new iPad. The new iPad. Of if you go to the Apple store, say I want a new iPad and make sure that they give you the third generation one iPad 3, but don't say that because that'll confuse them. I'm confused already just listening to you. <laughs> All, right. All right, well, that's it for this episode of Lab Rats. Uh, if you want to email us and uh, comment on this episode or uh, ask for, uh, I don't know, uh, us to cover something, you can email us at... Don't listen to him about the iPad 3 or 3rd gen iPad, just, it's too confusing. LabRats.tv. Yeah, and if you can't spell that, which you probably can't, and you don't have an iPad 3 slash 3rd generation new iPad to, to dictate it, then you could use feedback at LabRats.tv. Does that do uh, ads and stuff like that? Let's find out. Yeah. Now? No, we'll do it later. We'll do it later. Okay. All right, well, that's it for at LabRats. You can see us at LabRats.tv on the internet. Uh, you can zip on over to revision3.com and see us there with all the other fantastic shows. Um, and I remain uh, Andy Walker. I'm Sean Carruthers. So we'll see you next time. Are you ready? <laughs> it didn't understand that. <laughs> All right. Andy at labrats.tv. <laughs> Thank you. Andy at landcrest.tv. <laughs> and he didn't put the ad sign. It, it, yeah, it did not. We do it again. Andy at labrats.tv. Andy at s.tv. Okay, so the needs a little bit. It more. sucks.